Alright, it's in the guard room, which is uh, this one. Also, there's only one support on in all the Medicia. Right. This is the guard's personal quarters. If you need anything in here, feel free to take it. Uh, this is where you sleep too. I got an impression the guard was uh, mostly made of uh, men. Oh, uh, the quarters are by between men and women. We're standing in the women's right now. Gotcha. Guess I better uh, be careful not to disturb uh, too much while I'm here then, huh? All right, well, if you don't want to end up in the wrong side of her maze. Yeah, I see the owl. Hey there. Ancient excavator. Sure. I see you've got your relics all lined up again. What are you doing? Huh? They're so bright now. Oh, it's you two. I was merely tending to my collection. D don't you think you've polished them enough by now? <sighs> you take better care of your relics than you do yourself. I try to take good care of them. However, no matter how much work I put in, they refuse to respond. I thought you could hear their voices somehow. I can, but that's all I can do with them. I can't actually engage in conversation with them. Not yet. What are they saying? Did they really want you to polish them that much? <sighs> You're right. I was so enraptured with them. I may have selfishly failed to consider their own wishes. I must open my mind and sincerely engage with them in earnest. He never gets tired of his relics, does he? Nope. It is interesting to look at them when they're all lined up together like this, though. Like how these two have similar designs. It makes me wonder if they were made in the same period. An excellent observation. Yes, I too suspect they're somehow intimately related as well. I don't see what you two are talking about at all. Hmm? What's this? Why, that smear wasn't there previously. Could it be responding to my voice at long last? Hmm. It's rather viscous and has a distinct aroma to it. Ah, uh, Kuro! These relics are no place for you to do your business! Oh, <laughs> that's so Okay. <laughs> Come on, Dolly. Mm. Let's go wash your hands before you catch anything weird. <laughs> My word. This must be the work of providence. Prova what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. Oh, that was hilarious. I love that. <laughs> Tope has more. Alright. Is that like a new weapon or is that like No, that's that's really bad. Alright. Yeah, I should have had that like way early in the game. Okay. That's fine. There's not one in Magasara, that's weird. The straight the guy that have should jump straight to to um to the to a Ganatara, which is in which is in the Lord's chamber. Some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. 
May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. Romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. <laughs> Thunderblade! What? Ah! Oh, what the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. <laughs> I love it like how Hudo and Law are just like mortal enemies. Man, I'm famished. Uh. Hey, Xion. How are you and Alpha getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry. It's just... I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Nagal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. But, but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say, cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? He might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alvin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. W well friendship is about being supportive. <clears throat> Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Denon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now. It can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What the... An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a Zuko? Just a regular bug? She would have shot it, whether it was a Zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. <laughs> Sounds like they're tougher than they look. Wh what about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalin. 
I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! <laughs> oh, Alright. They're pretty funny. Trident! Alright. My word. This must be the work of Providence. Prov what now? It means death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time, Dogly. Show me Trident. Okay, alright. Carry over money and item, carry over level, yeah, that's the level one. Alright. Equipment, skill, records, alright. Alright, so there should be one last one. Where's this one? The last all can be found on the uninhabited island, which is the first visitor joining the Beyond the Grave subquest. Um, uninhabited the island. Is that like a new quest I can I need to do? That might be like a new quest I gotta do before. Before I can actually get this all. But I don't think I've been to a place called Uninhabited Island. Do we have no competition? Yeah, we do. I, I, I thought we did. <sighs> Everything okay there, big guy? You look kind of pissed. I'll say. He looks like he wants to bite the head off something. What's eating at you? Come on, Alfin. You're gonna bring us all down if you keep that ferocious scowl on. Hmm? Uh oh, sorry. Do I really look that ticked off? Yeah. It kind of makes you hard to talk to. So, what's bothering you? It's, uh... It's a pebble. A pebble? Snuck its way into the back of my boot. I can't seem to get rid of it. Oh, I totally get you. <sighs> Weird how much it can get on your nerves, huh? Yeah. It's barely bigger than a grain of sand. So how come it feels like I'm walking around on hot nails? You know, maybe this is a crazy solution, but you could just take your boot off and give it a shake. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. You're right. Phew. It's like I've been given a new lease on life. Thanks for the tip, Shion. Seemed kind of obvious, but you're welcome. That's the trouble with windy places. All that fine debris ends up getting into your hair and clothes. <laughs> Alfin, is it just me, or have you become extra sensitive ever since getting your sense of pain back? Now that you mention it, the other night at camp, there was a fly buzzing around that annoyed him so much, he unsheathed the blazing sword. So much for sensitive. That's just being a Mr. Cranky Pants. Nothing new on that front, then. What's the matter, Alfin? You look a little tense. <sighs> it's nothing, really. <laughs> he wants to get angry but knows that doing so would only prove our point. Hence the building frustration showing plainly on his face. Would you stop analyzing things for one minute? Point taken. Alright. Okay, so... I guess we do... I thought we can, we had time to do the owls. Then go find if we like miss any giant, giant or unique zoogles, then fishing. But like the... The exposition took about like two hours, so we're definitely not gonna have time to do like any of those. So I guess we can save that for next time when we come back next time. Uh, you finally made it. <sighs> I never realized before just how hot this place is. It's like being inside a fire. 
You're only just noticing? <coughs> ah, yes, forgive me. The whole lack of sensory feedback situation. That's the one. It's hard to believe I once worked in this soup, let alone helped spearhead a revolution. A doll with a mask concealing your face. It must have been very grimy beneath that. Back then, we had our plates full enough dealing with constant abuse from our Renan overlords. It never occurred to me the air itself was oppressive in its own way. My head spinning just with the effort it takes to walk. Uh, I think that's called heat stroke. You might want to take a sip of water. You mean that water that's been festering under the sun for days? I wouldn't chance it without boiling it first. Oh, I know. I'll go to the dock and fetch us some clean water. Water alone won't suffice. We'll need to ensure his sodium levels are replenished as well. In that case, let's see if we can rustle up some rock salt. Alfin, you go cool off in the shade for a while. Xion, stay and keep an eye on him. And then there were two. Bit of an overreaction. But it's still kind of them. Maybe it's not the time, but... This place brings back memories. I know what you mean. We're back where it all started. You don't ever... regret meeting me sometimes, do you? Are you kidding? You started all of this. Bringing down the wall, retrieving my sense of self. I have no regrets. What's your request? <laughs> oh, hi, Alfin. Hey, Cole. What's the one you gonna look into, our kid? I'm really hungry. You wish the Renan's gone or soon? I'm enough food to go around. That's not good. There's no way to bring uh, some in from outside Calaglia. We have been, thanks to your hard work, we managed to establish trade groups and have a little food coming in. But other places are not where. Uh, uh, very well off either, so there's, uh, now, uh, there's only so much we can uh, broker between drums, especially since the drum is n uh, nothing but rocks and sand for the most part. That's uh, sad, I wish something more could be done. I still hope I heard there's a merchant from Klagia who visiting uh, Gallimore Castle. Could you mind talking to him for us? Sure, we'll see what uh, he has to say. In the meantime, here, we have this bread. Whoa, thanks, where'd you get it? She has always comes prepared like this. Anyway, let's make our way to the uh, Gallimore Castle. Guarding cards. Global connection. Sure. Talk to the merchant in the Gallimore Castle. Alright. It's on the third floor. <clears throat> Is he dead? Huh. Hey. Love is our old fr uh, foodie friend, and uh, this time you're in Cloggly, uh huh? <laughs> Alpha, I'm finally, I've been waiting for you to show up. Oh, sorry, you, know, you will talk to him, but not me. Great. That's because I can tell you um, your palate is no good. What's up, uh, Granando? Find a recipe. Quite the opposite, actually. I can't find anything in here. There aren't, uh, there aren't any fine uh, delic um, delicacies here in Calaglia. Yeah, now you mentioned it, I can't think of anything like that either. I want to take uh, some uh, thing with me, uh, but at this rate, I don't know what I'm going to do. You can find anything, why not just uh, fix something yourself instead? What? There is still something uh, to eat in these parts, just whip up something good, uh, which what you can to find yourself. That kind of what cooking is all about, isn't it? I wouldn't figure it out all people could you are all people would know that. Oh, oh you got guts thinking you could lecture me about food, young lady. But you're absolutely right. Not only am I a fine uh, 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 
connoisseur of food, I'm also chef uh, per excellency. Uh, which uh, watch and learn, I put all my years of culinary experience to good news to produce the finest dish in this land has ever seen. I'm not sure he made anything else by himself. Oh yeah, you are so confident, I'm definitely like to take some home with me. Let me help, this, uh, con uh, this concerned Colombia so feels personal to me. Gladly, in that case, could you gather some ingredients for me, say, some wheat and eggs? Here. I should be happy with your need already. Great, now I can get to work. Uh, these ingredients are all the knowledge I need in, uh, in, uh, inside. This is sure to turn out squeezily. <laughs> Hold on. What is this? Some kind of fried bread? Let's give it a taste. Whoa, this is good. You sure put those ingredients to good use. I'll give him, uh, give him credits here, but doesn't the inside still taste a little d doughy to you? Yeah, plus there's nothing special about this plain old fried bread. Yeah, even to my skill, it looks like I have no more, uh, have more work to do. Fried bread that uh, that's still doughy. What what is what what is this camera angle? Wait, I got it. How about these? Are, are they supposed to be rings? Oh, you made donut. Yep, yeah, I was inspired by these castles uh, architecture, I can call them. Glended donuts, sure. Okay, I'll try one. Oh, now that's good, I can eat enough of this crispy uh, thingy. Yeah, the taste is great, I'm in heaven, I have no idea you can eat anything like this in Colombia. I like it, well, you need to look to it too, I can work with this. Excellent, I'm glad to hear my hard work paid off. Hey, what do you think about selling these sort of things? I'll bring the whole bunch of back to Cristalia and they'll be, they'll be a hit. Maybe I should. You know, I finally realized something about fixing these zones so for all of you. Cooking has a power to make people smile. I want to spread that uh, sensation far and wide. You got yourself a deal. Nah, it's a little final delicacy uh, than the joy of your hearts that comes uh, from a good meal. That's what being a gourmet is true about, truly about. I know exactly what you mean. I'll teach you the recipe of these donuts, as the least I can do to repay you for all your help. Thanks, Gorondo. Let me ask you one more thing before you go. No, but, uh, how did my donut actually taste? Uh, how did it taste? Well, absolutely exquisite. With that, my culinary request has finally come to an end. Thank you. <laughs>